supposed to roll. Yes, give me a minute. For what? I want to make sure I've got uh, some idea of the main streets in the neighborhood. I've never been through there, and uh, I can't think of anything more embarrassing than a cop getting lost. Can you? Got the perfect out for you. You ride passenger, and I'll drive. You know that part of town? Oh, do I know that part of town? <laughs> Easy area to get lost in. In a lot of ways. It's a mean place, huh? Oh, no. It's just as nice and calm as can be, William. <laughs> you turn pig don't fit you too good you look lost in that uniform well I'm being careful how I fill it out around just an occasional break in the war man I'm gonna do something bad if I hang around here I mean something bad like what man I don't know I may have hurt somebody maybe killed him you think you're really gonna kill someone cut him up shoot him I mean what's gonna happen to me you know if I get away from the gang man it all that stuff will be over when I get back. I mean, Dick, it won't have to be for for that long, you know. Who knows, maybe just for a year. I don't know, man. If I kill someone, I, I can get life. He never did get away. He was killed three weeks later, along with two others in a gang fight, a rumble. Different colored pins for each gang. Cavaliers, marbles, blades, braid bulls. Over 30 gangs in this area alone. They move in a secret society. No one talks to the cops, their fathers, their mothers. No one. Someone so much as sees anyone talking to a cop. He is fingered as a possible informer. Uh, what if they need police protection, say, in the case of a robbery or something like that? They have their own cops, the gangs themselves. Each gang takes care of its own territory, whatever that may be. A block or two in size, anywhere up to a mile or more. But it's the rumbles. That's what tears the gears out of the machinery. That's when the community gets frightened and opens up a little, and that's when we are called in. But most of the time, it's too late. When the peace is made between the gangs, then we're back outside the walls again. Like to share your insight with us, Officer Gillis? Um, well, Lieutenant, it, it all just sounds like something you read about happening in the 50s. You'll read about it. I went through it, and so did a lot of other people. I don't know. It just seems that uh, nothing's changed in all those years. It's kind of unreal. Unreal? There are few things more real than the gangs, rookie. They have been with us for quite a few years, and they do not seem to be going away. Like water you can't drink and air you can't breathe. They seem to be the product of our advanced state of civilization, and they are very real, Officer Gillis. Uh, Webster? Fourth and Central, you know that area? Some? Why? 
Well, the city just fixed up the old gym, put up a new halfway house in that neighborhood. I'd like to know what you think of it. It costs too much. It'd be worth every penny if it was working. Why isn't it? Well, Lieutenant, I haven't read your material yet. Come on now, Webster. Why isn't it working? Because it doesn't mean anything. It's an empty gesture. You can't open up a new playground, call the neighborhood kids into play, then walk away thinking that you've solved the problem of growing up in a ghetto. You know what they're using that building for? Let me guess. Uh, gang meetings, war councils. <laughs> it takes more than pretty buildings. Like what? Well, like maybe showing them that somebody really cares about them. You tell him, Willie. Well, that's a $100,000 building. Said he thought that might show them something. All it shows them is that the man has got the bread. They knew that before. Still haven't made your point, Lieutenant. The department wants a man who knows the problems to go in there and see what he can do on a personal level. I hope you find him. He's got to be a volunteer. Well, it makes it easier on me, doesn't it? Hey, Lieutenant, I'll take it on. Terry. You might be the one man who can go in there and open it up for us. You might reach them. No way. Hey, Lieutenant, you don't have to look any further. I'm your volunteer. Oh, stay out of it, Willie. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. You got it, Gillis. Really? Yeah. Hey, thanks, Lieutenant. Hey, Willie, did you get that stuff for me? Yeah. He won't stand a chance. Maybe, maybe not. He'll swallow him up. He can handle himself. Knock down there and you know it. He may fool both of us. At least he deserves a chance. Things get too much for him. He'll need a friend. I hope he finds one. Why are we holding them back? I mean, it ain't like we can't take them. Can't you dig what I'm saying? It's not the time, and that's it. Then we make it the time. Those blades are begging for it. They're walking all over our turf like they own it already. I mean, we might as well just lay down and let them walk all over us. They're doing it anyway. You got that much blood to spill. Because, baby, you'll need it if we start a rumble with the blades. We've hassled with those guys before. Yeah, well, that was before they made their treaty with the marbles. If the blades challenge us first, they do it alone. Marbles won't jump in as long as we don't hit first. Now, that's what we're waiting for, and that's the end of it. Meanwhile, we do nothing. I'll let them walk all over our turf. Drug just told you, didn't he? That's the end of it. Hi. How you doing? Hi. How about a game? How about a game? Hey, look, hi. There's uh, one, two, five of you. I make six. That's just right. We could have three-man teams. We could, eh? Sure, why not? The man wants to play. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm not here as a cop. You don't have to cut tight. Oh, good. You had me real worried there for a minute. Hey, you guys, all I want to do is uh, get to know you a little bit, that's all. What do you say we have a game, and then afterwards we can sit down and maybe rap a little bit? Split, pig. Hey, uh, you don't have to say that. He wants to rap a little, man. Why not? Yeah, why don't we just rap a little? Come on in. Cuts look pretty deep, Willie. I think maybe you ought to check into the department infirmary and let the doctor get a look at them. Well, four, I get the best nurse money can buy. Okay, then take her advice and go to the infirmary. Well, I can't do that. <laughs> Why not? Well, because all Riker has to do is get one good look at me and I wash right out of the assignment. Well, that might be the best thing you could do. But, Willie, this thing's out of your line. There's just no way you can handle it. Not alone. Well, I just went in wrong, that's all. I'll go back, start again. At least you got determination. Hey, look, I can't clean this in this light. Come on, you'll have to come into the bathroom. Do I have to? Yep, move. It's an order, officer. 
That's where I keep the bullets for the patients to bite on. Uh-huh. Mind? No, I don't mind. It's quite a beating the kid took. I saw the same as you. Yeah, well, you saw more than I saw. The big difference is you could have done something about it. Well, I tried to talk the kid out of taking on the job. Oh, that's beautiful, man. That's really beautiful. Oh, come on, Mike. Get off my back. I don't need the weight. Yeah, well, Willie doesn't need the weight either. Riker wanted you for that job, not him. You bailed out and he got stuck with it. That's right. I'm a cop, not a social worker. Doesn't mean anything. Can't you see that? It's a fantasy. It's been going on for a long time. They throw a bone, then walk away, but nothing ever changes for the people down there. I know what it feels like, and I'm not ready to feed those lies to anyone because it hurts, man. It hurts. Okay, I can buy that. Good. But you're so scared that you might hurt somebody the same way you got hurt that you're not even willing to take the chance that maybe, just maybe, you might be able to help them. Well, that's scared, baby. That's scared. It's another triumph for modern medicine. Hey, you look great. Yeah, you look just like new. Of course, that's not saying much. Thanks. Here. The first mistake you made was to walk into the place wearing police department issue. Next time, wear civvies. Okay. The second screwy thing you did was to believe all those movies you saw when you was a kid. You don't treat the young, unfortunate, juvenile delinquent with phony respect. It wasn't phony. It wasn't real either, was it? Sure it was. Not for them. Yeah, I guess you're right. But the dumbest thing you did was to get involved in the first place, because now I get sucked in. Hey, Terry, you, you don't have to do anything. Oh, yes, I do. As long as you're coming up with half the rent, I needs you, William. And that's a fact. Stay at that intersection so we can get you a backup. ETA in 10 minutes. Repeat, each day in ten minutes. Blood low, nine are out. He in? He is. Good mood, bad mood? His mood. Very encouraging. Blood low, seven. I show you a code seven. Come in. And East Lincoln, is this accurate status your unit? You get a look at Willie at morning muster? Yes. Then you know why I'm here? No. Try to make it easy on me, will you, Lieutenant? No way I can. Like I say, I don't know why you're here. If you're after me to pull Willie off, I won't. Not yet. Especially after what happened, whatever that was. If you've decided to help him, you don't need my permission. It'll be your own off-duty time you'd be working on. Two things I want. This isn't a part-time job. I want time off from our regular duties. You've got it for a while till we see how things work out. What else? I want a free hand. <clears throat> Spell that out a little. I handle it the way I see it. No progress reports in triplicate, no departmental interference. Is that what you call interference? All right, no progress reports, no interference. But no free hand. If you take this on during department time, you are responsible to those above you, just the same as any man on special assignment. Let me lay it out for you, Webster, right where you can see it. You're a cop, not a social worker. Would you like to share the joke? Who'd lose something in the translation? Carrier pigeon, man. 
Tell Chuck and the others I'll be at the gym over the halfway house, and I'll be expecting them no later than half an hour. What for? Well, suppose I can't find them. Well, you try, huh? <laughs> See you again, Terry. I hoped it would be, Truck. You hear from Ron? Mom got a letter a week ago. Your friend tell you what happened? He mentioned it. And? And what, man? <laughs> Maybe you'd like to play a little basketball, too. I thought we might. There's eight of us, four-man team. I don't know, man. You use four men if you want to. Me and my friend will stand you. Why the edge? I think you'll need it. Oh, don't be upset, Truck. If you decide on using two men, you can always call in substitutes any time you want. Me and Cody will stand you. Oh, good, good, good. Well, you take the ball out, Cody. <coughs> If you guys worked up an appetite, we'll be across the street at the pizza joint. Food's on Willie here. You're welcome. If you can make it that far. Hmm. 
You're pretty generous with my money, aren't you? Well, your type just can't help being all heart. Thanks. <laughs> hey, you guys, we'll see you over there, okay? I didn't think you'd show up again. I mean, without a few riot cars and some tear gas. Ah, oh, coming back the second time was easy. I knew what to expect. It was that that first time. You guys weren't the friendliest. We still ain't. Oh, come on. You guys are a bunch of pussycats, and you know it. <laughs> first, you take a beating. Then you come back and spend a lot of bread on this spread. For what? A rap session? Well, you want to tell me? Tell him the truth, Willie. You came because the cops sent you, right? Well, they... They, they wanted to send someone down here. Yeah, that's that's part of it, but... Well, that's not why I'm here. In a way, I guess... You guys kind of fascinate me. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. I, I mean that. Where I come from, there was nothing like you around. Well, sure, there was a few tough guys, but there were no gangs or anything. This is a whole new world for me. Try living in a place like this without belonging to a gang. Survival, man. That's the whole scene. All right, then. Here's the way it is. Without your gang behind you, without dudes like we got blood friends to give to and to get from, you're nothing. You know, I, I mean, it's like uh, I love these guys more than, uh, more than if I had a brother. They're all the family I got. Well, and if, if you guys really care about each other, if, if you're like family to each other, well, there's so much you could do for yourselves. We're staying alive. You men are easy to satisfy, you know that? I know a lot of guys like to do what I'm doing. Jiving. That's what you do. That and killing each other. And I don't see where that's getting you, unless you're keeping something from me. We get to keep our turf. And maybe add a little to it. Well, what good is that to you? I mean, why not... Why not make what you've got better instead of trying to get more? Hey, don't knock it, man. Like you said, we live here. Oh, come on, Ace. You knock it yourself. Every day when you walk onto that street, you tear it down a little more because you hate it so much. Because it stinks. It stinks. You know, if, if, if it was me down here, and, and like I said, maybe I'm from a different world, but I'd be fighting, too, but I'd be fighting to get this place cleaned up, to get better schools, more jobs down here. I'd be fighting on that level. Drop! Eric the Red. Hey, head honcho. I've been cruising all over looking for you. Blades are throwing a party. And we want you and your boys to come. When? Tomorrow night, one in the morning. Where? The old field house. You'll be there now, won't you? Oh, yeah. We'll be there. Every one of suicide squads. You call it. Three man squads, three to back them. You got it. Don't chicken out of me, Chooch. Split, red man. You don't walk this turf. Yeah, well, that's just temporary. <laughs> like after tomorrow night. <laughs> what are you going to do about it, Terry? Stop us. Say it, Terry. How much of you is cop? And how much some dude that's maybe looking to help us out? Making you fight a rumble is going to help you out, huh? Busting us or stopping it ain't going to do much good either. Well, all I heard was that you were invited to a party.
Terry? Terry, what, what are we going to do now? Nothing. You mean we're just going to walk away when we know what's going to happen? Hey, come on, Terry. we got a job. We're cops, remember? Don't keep throwing that word at me. I know what I am. We do nothing. Nothing. Speak for yourself. But we've got to tell Riker. Terry, we haven't got any right to keep it from him. And we've got to tell him. Look, what if, if somebody gets hurt bad, huh? What if somebody gets killed? How are we going to feel knowing that we could have stopped it? What are we going to say to Riker? What are we going to say to ourselves? Terry, you've got no choice. Can't you see it? Willie, 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 open your eyes. What happens if we tell Riker? He'll stop it! For how long? One, two, three weeks, and then what? The fight takes place anyway. Some other place, some other time. And who does Riker send to take our place? And how far does he go? Willie, what we're talking about is trust. Without it, we haven't got a chance. The city can line the whole place with wall-to-wall, halfway houses, and it won't mean anything. We've got to create an atmosphere of trust in the community, and you don't do that by calling Riker and half the police force in on this. Oh, well, you don't do it by letting them kill each other, either. Look, man, you have no anchor on you. All you have to do is pick up the phone and call Riker, and it's all over. I'm out of it, you're out of it, and we can let some other slob try and pick up where we left off. What do you want? Well, I didn't come to present either of you with a Brotherhood Award. Sorry you got a little loud, Jim. No, no, not a little loud. You got a lot loud. And Mike's trying to do some studying. Why didn't he come over and tell us himself, huh? Because I'm also here to ask you to dinner in half an hour when he's finished. I'm sorry, Jill. I just don't feel like... Terry, I'd appreciate it very much if you both said yes. Because you can't yell at each other with your mouths full, and I don't like to see nice people yell at each other anyway. I'll see you in half an hour. <laughs> Ace. That's it. The three of us make up the squads. What about the backup squad? Moose, Arnie, and... Me. Only if you promise to move when I tell you. No jumping the gun. Right on. Why not me? Hey man, the squad's gonna be three and three, not two and a half. You'll get your chance later on. I don't know you enough, Benny, and I can't afford to find out when we fight in squads. I gotta know who's behind me. But you won't be taking any chances. Not with me. Hey, don't want you just going home, kid. <laughs> Pass the word. I want all of us out there just in case. You too, Benny. If all the Blades decide to jump in, you'll get your chance. I'm going for a walk. I'll go with you. I just as soon be by myself. No. Will you just be in the way? Thanks for the vote of confidence. Ben, I just don't have the time to worry about. I don't have the time to let you think you can do it all yourself. You know, you you may just need somebody to back you up. Well, what are we waiting for? It's still hot in here. It's a lot hotter where we're going. <laughs>
<laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. You had to play the pig, didn't you? Oh, there ain't no one behind this truck. Willie and me, we's all alone. Bennett. I don't see anything, truck. A, a truck? You guys, we, we didn't come here to bust anybody. Then what do you want? Oh, I just wanted Willie to see what two chicken outfits looked like going to war. You know, in my time, when I was running with the clubs, you dudes would have been laughed off the turf. What are you trying to do? I told you. Just out for laughs. Hey, hey, Dick. Excuse me. Excuse me. You know, we knew what it felt like to grab hold of a guy with bare hands. Hmm? But it took guts. You had to get close enough to look at the man you were standing up to. Now look, Eric. Look at truck there. Wouldn't you like to feel that ugly face of his give? <laughs> but what are you going to feel with that chain you're holding? Might as well whip a telephone pole. Now, come on, come on. You got the guts? You got the heart? And what about you, little brother? You think you could make it? Man to man? Well, forget it. I'm asking for more than you got to give. You know, I might be wrong, and I doubt it. You ain't got it. still in surgery. Here. Come on, drink. It might be a long way. I'll keep you posted. Nothing seems to change, Willie. It just comes back to you in different ways. Different shapes. 
up to three, maybe four years ago. Trek's older brother and me were, well, like Cody said, family. Remember? Running, running with the crowds. Then something happened, I don't know. Ron wanted me to join the army with him. I couldn't make that. He was tough. Must have been good. He made sergeant in less than a year and a half. Then they shipped him out to Nam. You ever hear from him? I get a letter from him every once in a while. It's hard for him to write with the new hands the army had to give him. One brother goes to war and loses his hands. The other stays home and maybe loses his life. For what? Where do I get off trying to play God? None of this would have happened if I'd gone to Riker, like you said. I wonder how long it's going to take for me to grow up. Calling Dr. Stevens. Dr. Stevens. Hey, come on. Don't be so hard on yourself. Did you know about this gang fight before it started? Yes, sir. Willie wanted to tell you, but I talked him out of it. Why? I thought I could handle it. Did you? Not too good, sir. I'd say lousy. I, I think maybe you're wrong about that. There's a boy on an operating table in there. He may not come out alive. Lieutenant, they had chains and clubs, switchblades. If it hadn't been for Terry, there'd be a lot more guys in the hospital. Terry talked them into throwing away their weapons. He talked all but one of them into throwing away their weapons, you mean? He didn't make that decision alone, sir. At first, I thought he was wrong, but he wasn't. You finished? No, sir. We did the best that we could, and, and we did what we thought was right. Maybe you did the only thing you could. Maybe, just maybe, if you had come to me, I would have gone along with you. But you didn't. You did it on your own without the advice or consent of the department. So whatever the consequences are, you're going to have to bear them alone. Up to and including dismissal from the force. Now, take that for what it's worth. I'm not pushing for that. I'd hate to see that happen, but that's it. All right. Now, where are we and where are we going to go? It's gonna be all right. The doctor says he'll probably be out of here in two or three weeks. Maybe that's an exaggeration, but he's strong. And he's also very lucky that bullet lodged an inch and a quarter from his heart. Uh, they sent it on to your ballistics people. Thank you, nurse. Thanks. You're welcome, Lieutenant. Uh, you two aren't out of the woods yet, you know. Not by a long shot. Lieutenant? Mm hmm? How come you're in civvies? Because I left word for them to call me at home if anything went wrong. Thank you. Just keeping tabs on you, that's all. All right, I've got ten minutes before the hour coming up on it. <laughs> Are you kidding? Are we really going to synchronize our watches like John Wayne and Randolph Scott and all that? Yes, Patrolman Gillis, that's exactly what we are going to do. You left ten minutes in there trying it your way, no results. I'll call for backups, and we'll pull them all in. You both understand that? Understood. Get going. I don't know, Danko. Am I crazy? In what way, Lieutenant? Those two, letting them walk in there like that, they could get their heads handed to them if they're not careful. Nah. They'll be careful. You can count on them. There's another thing that bothers me. Yeah? What's that? When I asked if I was crazy, you said, in what way? Why couldn't you say, of course not, Lieutenant?
Everybody here, Cody? Everybody that was at the Rumble. What, uh... What's with the uniform? Because we're cops. Hey, Oi, look, don't oh, push oh, it! Oh, yeah. This ain't the time or the place. The truck's gonna be all right. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. I got something more to say. I want the one who shot him. You're in the wrong place, man. You want one of the blades. You understand? Hey, one of you guys did it. <laughs> you gotta be out of your mind. You got to. You yeah. must have blown yeah. your mind. Yeah. We're fighting with him, not against him. We're talking about yeah. drug, man. Anybody in this room, just lay down for him. Nobody close to the fight shot him. We would have seen the gun go off. What about all them guys over by the bikes, huh? Yeah. The shot didn't come from there. How do you know? Hey, Moose, truck was shot in the back. Now, that means that the bullet came from your side. Who was it? All right, let's find out. Any of you guys ever hear of a paraffin test? If any of you fired a gun within the last 24 hours, this will tell us all about it. We melt the wax and put it in the palm of your hand. Particles of the gunpowder should come off, will come off with the wax. You first. Sit down, brother. I said sit down right now. Ain't nobody taking that test. Why not? Because we'll handle it, whoever it was, ourselves. Yeah, we'll handle it. You guys are not to be believed. What are you going to do when you find him? Cut him? Kill him? Why not? Sure, you've been doing it all your lives. You're always putting down someone. Always blaming someone for your troubles. OK, I dig it. You got a right, because you don't stand much of a chance. Most of you will drop out of school before you can read. Maybe because you have to, or else the school ain't worth much of anything anyway. Most of you will work all your lives for next to nothing, for scraps. If you're lucky enough to get a job, and you fight, you'll slug away until the day you die. For who? For what? To change a system? Hmm? To clean up where you live? To try and learn something that will help you get a piece of the action? No chance. You're too busy killing off each other. Look, you got a power. You got a power that you could be using because you know what needs to be changed. The changing starts right now. You, Cody, you first. The rest of you, line up. an accident, wasn't it? I swear it was, man. I didn't mean to shoot truck. I swear it. All those guys was, was just milling around. I believe you. I wanted him to know he could count on me in a rumble. I wanted him to be proud of me. I didn't mean to shoot him. I swear. I swear. Stay away from me. You two! It was
was an accident, Benny. I told you I believe you. Will I have to go to jail? Will you bust me if, if I give you the gun? I'll have to take you in. I don't want to go. Well, I'll be with you all the way. I'll tell them what happened. Look, Benny, look at the guys around you. Even if you got out of here, where would you go? The police are after you. They'll be after you. You don't have a chance. Cody? Cody, you let me go, won't you? Even he believes I didn't really be in the shoot truck. Cody? Please? Please let me go, man. Please? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will see you in the watch commander's office in three and one half seconds. Move it. mobile unit. You're listening to a number of young men who are unhappy with the garbage pickups in their neighborhood. Young men you were working with recently. They have taken 15 garbage cans and placed them as a barricade in the entrance to the Essex Country Club. The mayor is a member of the Essex Country Club and the mayor is unhappy. Would you rather they kill each other or blockade a driveway? I would rather they not kill each other and I would rather they not blockade a driveway. That's what I would rather. Now get your tails down there and you get those kids to remove that junk right now. I'll give them your regards, Lieutenant. Thank you. We'll bring it to you. You won't pick it up. Hey, policeman! You coming out here? We'll bring it to you. You gonna arrest us? There's a unit on the way to make sure your demonstration remains orderly. You're sending out pigs, right? No, son, not pigs. Not by the hair on my chinny-chin-chin. Chin.